sort of, it's interesting, like we always talk about the Illuminati and we always think everything is so organized, evil wise. But I think what sometimes happen, I think evil just engenders incompetence. Yeah. Yes. You know, that incompetence works well with evilness. And I, I think tr the Trump administration, I do believe is evil, but I also believe they're incompetent. And I think they get a lot of tangential people, some of which are evil, and then some of which are just straight shitheads that right. wouldn't have gotten a job. They want him to appoint as many shitheads as they would as not people. have gotten a job in a normal U.S. Customs Department. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they just don't know what the fuck they're doing. And it, it, to me, it's hard to separate, well, what's the incompetent wing and what's right. the evil wing? <laughs> I don't see I don't see much competence. That's the one thing that really gave me There's zero. Uh, it gave it gave me some some you know it helped me relax when uh, when Bader Ginsburg died and going into this election. You know that you see like you see like the like like the Trump campaigns having money problems. Like, how <laughs> how you you just had the fucking taxpayers pay for your your national convention. Would you the one thing where they, they're investing too much of their ad revenue in DC cuz that's where he watches local cable. <laughs> he just watches local cable. So they have to pay ads there even though there's no way anyone in DC will ever vote for him, you know. It's almost like it's not important like they know that it's rigged so you just keep him talking his shit. Keep him fat and sassy and just fucking trust in but Trust isn't that gonna like, hack these voter machines? The thing I'm excited about is because I'm I get in fights with my buddy and, I, and I'm like I'm like hey hey real quick while we're talking shit you know texting back and forth walk me through how you commit voter fraud in mail voter fraud walk me through how you how do you how you fake a mail in ballot and he's got all this shit and did it did it and ballot harvesting this and that and this and that I'm like send me one link. Send me one fucking link, and you da, 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 can't no. engage these. And then people. I'm like, I'm like, and like also just just so I can get you on on record, do you are you do you extend the same skepticism towards voting machines? Because they're fucking they're fucking calculators. They're, they're people can hack them from like with their cell phones. Like they're these things are not secure at all. And I think it's going to be hilarious if like China gives Biden Texas. <laughs> you know, like who knows what's going to happen on fucking election day. No shit. I mean, ch you think China can't fucking point all their fucking, you know, and I'm just, I'm just, this is just a hypothetical. For all I know, China loves that Trump's fucking ruining the dollar too. Like, of course they would, you know, I've, I've said this before. Some people that love America love Trump. Everybody that hates America loves Trump. Like if you fucking want to see this country fucking go down the fucking shitter, just let this guy keep running his mouth and being an incompetent asshole that doesn't hire anyone worth a fuck that he doesn't see on TV. I watched Laura. I watched Tucker. I watched Sean Hannity. Did you see that speech, Flannery? He, <laughs> no, he, I didn't. He, at a press conference, he he literally admitted watching the full entire day's schedule of. That's Fox. amazing. It, it it's like it, he does. But I do think, if I may, in his defense, I do think people underestimate that his ability to control the news cycle is based on how much news he watches. So I think, like, us as smart people, we read books because we want to be conversationally interesting and learn facts. But he doesn't want to know that. He wants to know, how do I re-pivot the news cycle so he watches the news cycle like that's his grammar right and i i think when he when everyone bitches that trump watches eight hours of news a day which you do not want out of your president <laughs> what they forget is that's why he's our president is because he can spin the media because he watches how it permeates in right. every direction i still that's that falls under the category of trump's an evil genius and i just don't buy it somebody no, made no him. it's not that an evil genius I, i'm not no, no he he's not a genius i think i don't even know if he's evil I, I think he's an incompetent racist but he understands 
and he has no like his great you, you, this is what trump has taught me in my opinion it was interesting when trump started i started reading more about autocrats and i was like oh they all have the same platform and i'm like are they reading the same thing and my observation is what makes them so successful is they have no shame and that's his genius is that like any other republican nominee when it was pointed out that he grabbed a woman on on by the pussy in in, in a tape or that paid a porn star would have resigned they yeah, would have been mortified yeah but he won't and and what you realize or, or when you were impeached over uh, bribing another country. And what we realize, and, and I think this is why we need to be really worried if he gets reelected, most of our actual government is not codified in laws. It's social norms that are based upon the fact that you will feel guilty if you violate them. And if you don't, the opposition is fucked. Yeah, he's really walking through a lot of doors that we thought were locked. We never thought of that. What if he, what yeah, if, we just never thought that you would have a guy like, I don't care. Yeah, I do not, not care. I <laughs> do not care that I am the Christian evangelical, evangelical vote and I fucked a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> like we, we never had that on our radar. Right, right. <laughs> I, like my, I like my war heroes to not have been captured. Yeah, okay. never on our radar. Whatever you want to say. You're, you're, you're fired. <laughs> I don't care. Well, you guess you're the manager now, then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just make him care more. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Give him more responsibility. He doesn't give a shit about what he just failed at. But that's another scary reveal, is that what we called a government was basically just a system of sort of norms were like you won't do that right <laughs> <laughs> the best part, I, mean, I really believe we're like really 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 fucked if he runs re-election yeah it's not a good thing when he was we're just really I mean, fucked when, when he said like when he yeah said well that is true either way we are really fucked. you are right on that sean both sides look like shit nobody looks good yeah. at this they're they're both playing top-notch bullshit at each other and and uh at least biden can hire pros biden can at least hire pros right now the department of homeland security is 50 percent staffed he's not hiring anyone the yeah. only people he's hiring he's appointing judges that the the federalist society is telling him they're giving him a list of names they're like pick one that's it he's not doing shit else He's not hiring anyone. It's all right. incompetent nothing. Let's do this. Let's do this. What's everyone's exit or entrenchment strategy in November? I've been doing it since uh, 2006. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a 14-year head start. I'm deeply entrenched right here. Nice. I might, I, I'm either going to Ireland or I'm going to join you, Sean. Come on, come on with I it. I got good. I got good computer skills. I could put you to work right away. <laughs> Fuck that! I'm going to Savannah, Georgia, and I'm joining. I'm joining up. You're going to be part of the new fascist regime. Absolutely. <laughs> you could easily be uh, uh, Steve Bannon's. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I'm going for. All right, Nate. What's your strategy? Man, I don't got one, dog. I'm uh, gotta figure that out, buddy. I'm I'm hanging tight right here in this in a in a tourist destination, and I'm I'm fucking sporting your woman. I'm I'm buying water and I'm buying a shotgun, and that's all I got. Harry Styles, what's your philosophy? <laughs> now, are you guys actually gonna buy? I, so I was thinking about buying a gun. Yeah. Over all this. <laughs> <laughs> but my 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 oldest has not a lot of matter. don't buy my guns. oldest has a lot of mental problems so i don't right. want a gun why, why, do want a gu why do you want a gun sean i honestly think society could collapse okay. <laughs> you know but then i was like all right 
I yeah. think I'm better off with my words if I get into a situation than a gun. I mean, you see the statistics. You know how much more dangerous your house. Becomes? Oh no, no. I, I, I would, I would never. My idea was I would build, I would dig a hole five feet under, and plant the gun down there, and then put <laughs> dirt on it. So what this is just a society has <laughs> collapsed gun. <laughs> I have, I have no kids in my house, and. A, an, a certifiable insane person walk by my house once every 10 minutes. No, I, no, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I definitely don't want to have a gun in my house where my kids could ever touch it. And you want to bury it in a hole. I want to bury it in a hole. It's basically like, um, like the old Twilight Zone episodes where, where, where a nuclear bomb has happened and you yep. got to dig down, you know. Yeah. The gun is five feet below. Yeah, I, would actually, I actually think a gun safe would be better than a, a whole nook of dirt. I mean, look, <laughs> look, Sean. No, I want this gun to be somewhere where I need to spend six hours to get it. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I want to know society's gone. Like, this is not a gun for home defense. Right. This is not a gun for, like, you know. This is a, this gun, is, for the, this is a gun for the next phase. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. This is which, basically which is the U.S. government thing. says a final word like "good luck." <laughs> or, or the power grid gets fucking shut down for for more than for more than five days. How soon do you think this uh, this civil war is going to happen? Me? I think all I think I think it's just going to be ratcheted up and ratcheted up, and we're all going to still be able to go to the mall, and then something bad is going to happen. I don't. I. I don't think a civil war is happening. I, I think. Like I think, we'll be, I think it, there will be. There will be patches of serious conflict. Like, look, you school shooters are heroes now. I mean, what the fuck? Like, the kid brought a fucking AR-15 to a group of people and started popping it off into people's fucking heads. Like, that's if that ain't fucking. Hey, look what we can do now, shit. I don't know what is. And it, all it would take is a fucking water shortage or a power outage. Or a fucking explosion uh, that where chaos ensued for you well, know a couple of thousand people to die because of each other. I agree that if you added something to it, it might happen. But I, 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 I mean, think me and CJ are still going to golf. But just break up this country, dude. We've had his run. Enough's enough. That I that I agree with. No, I, I, mean, I can get behind that. They're, no, they're not even close. We're not even close to agreeing with each other. It's never going to happen. So just break off. Make it like the Power Five conferences, the SEC, Pac-10. Well, but that's what's so weird about it, right? Like that's what's such a weird kind of amalgamation is that the states, at the end of the day, if you look at a history of warfare, who always wins? The people with the money right you know it's funny the south is always like oh you think you'd win another civil war yeah we all got guns it's like all right buddy we got fucking california and new york all right they, they invented mock planes all right you like you're not that there would be another civil war but right. at, at the end of the day war is about power which is about in a capitalistic society money mm -hmm. and um I think that's what's so weird about the, I don't, I don't know. I debate about this all the time. Like the Republican, we're getting very political here, obviously, but the Republican coalition is these very rich capitalists that are using evangelical foot soldiers for their like operations base but at the end of the day, if we, which actually control the economy, you and I, California, New York, Chicago, Portland, ever disagreed, like if there was a national strike, the Republican Party wouldn't exist in 48 hours, in my opinion. <laughs> you think so? Oh, 100%. Because they would just be like, okay, fine, whatever. It's easier to invest in the Democratic Party. I think... A, I do think that will happen. I hope that's what will happen because I think that's the only nonviolent way for it to end. But I hope that what will happen is a national strike shows the Republican money base that they can't keep going this way. That's my hope. 
I mean, I, that, what, would it, what would it what would it take, Sean? Because they 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 just they just put the the NCAA slave labor football teams back to work. So what what's it going to take to push the American workforce to a to a national strike? For me, is this for me? This is for either of you. No, that's for Cole. That's for Cole. Nobody's. They're gonna keep going. They're fixing these water pipes in in Portland while they're blowing shit up and uh, throwing fire and all the shit. There's still there's still things getting broken and getting fixed. And the, I, it's just gonna be really fucking shitty for a while. I mean, there's that's that's just what it is. What's the word up there? What do people say about those pro, the protests and the fucking? What do people say about the federal soldiers being deployed in the city? Um, they don't, they don't, they don't want them in there, but what's happening is now you've got, you know, th over three months of, of fires and shit, like they're, they're destroying Portland. I mean, now it's, now it's almost like, yeah, it's kind of, I gotta, so really my, my middle daughter, she's, she's out there. She's in Portland. She's, I got a video I just saw of, uh, Michaela showed uh, of uh, Kenzie's up there throwing her hands, and these are these are suited out riot. They're tactical PD, and they just they just she's up there throwing her hands, being a dumbass, and they just body slammed her ass. Yeah, oh my god. And so I'm I'm like okay, so surely they call you right? Like they, they didn't call. Nobody called the house. Nobody nobody calls the parents. Nobody How old says is anything. She? She's seventeen. She's a minor. What? True. True stories. It's ridiculous, though, the way, I mean, she's a, they're they're totally good. overreacting. Yeah, but they're just, yeah, like, you could have just, you just bump that, bump her ass back. She's, she's yeah. out of control. She's not right. They're not right. They're in there just trying to fucking, just barely hanging on. But, uh, I mean, they're fucking destroying that city. Everybody's, you're going to get a big purge of, of uh, you're going to get a lot of public officials um, that just resign. That's what's I mean, really, I mean, my, they're, gonna, they're out. Sean, you know, my, my friend Ariel, her husband and her, and her youngest daughter went, went down there a couple nights, just riding their bikes down there, bandanas and helmets and just to, just to see and just to show support and stuff. They got fucking tear gassed. I'm talking about an eight year old girl got tear gassed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're just spreading that shit all over the place. What the fuck? And why are they doing this? Because Trump knows that it's good footage and it helps him. Well, and it's a way to look at it and say, oh, this, these weak Democratic uh, governors, you know, it's a way for him to shit on, you know, Kate Brown or whoever has been keeping a state together for a good while in a good, pretty good way. And That was hilarious. That's another well, example. Of I, I think also the cops want to do it, which is a bigger problem. Right. It's got to be, it's got to be harder to be a cop. Well, yeah, yeah, that I agree with. But yeah, like the cops are, they enjoy doing that too much. In right. my opinion. Yes, they do. And that's why they became cops. Yeah. If they signed up. All right, boys, I got to get going. Here. I love you, Shawnee. Be good, bro. I love you, man. Love love you, you, guys. That was I'm a that was something. I'm going to log off, too. I love you guys. Good work. CJ, send me the thing. I'll make it. Yeah, no problem. No need to edit. It's perfect as is. As is. Steve, bye. Bye. Right. I'm Garner Minshew.